Hundreds of people packed City Hall tonight to have their voices heard on the Vista Ridge Pipeline Project. The 140 mile pipeline could provide a new source of water for San Antonio if the City Council approves it. The night team's Tim Gerber was there as people on both sides of the issue weighed in on the future of our water supply. The Vista Ridge Project can assure an abundant and long-term water supply for our city. A public utility about to spend a public fortune should include the public in real conversation. 115 people signed up to sound off on the 140 mile long $3.4 billion water pipeline that could supply water to 160,000 residents for at least the next 30 years. Local business leaders say it's good for the economy. Without more access to water, the current jobs we have will be in jeopardy, and we stand at risk of losing future jobs. With an expected 16% rate increase over the next four years, some worry about the impact on lower income rate payers. Others worry about the impact on the environment. This group of citizens from Central Texas, where the water will be drawn from, worries about their own water supply. And we're saying we're, we don't mind sharing, but do not drain our aquifer. And uh, this project is tr trying to take too much. While some think the project is moving too fast, Greg Flores says Saws has been working on the project for three years with plenty of opportunities for the public to get involved. He says lower income rate payers and low water users will be protected from carrying too much of the added costs. There is the possibility that interest rates could go up in the future and delaying a decision on this project would run the risk of making it more costly to our rate payers. Now, SAW says if that pipeline were to be approved, they would spread that rate increase out over time, likely adding about 4% to your bill over the next four years. By 2020, the average customer's bill would be at about $88 a month, with about $12 of that per month going to the pipeline. The SAWS board already voted to approve this contract with Vista Ridge. It's now up to the city council to approve the contract. They're expected to take this up for a vote possibly by the end of the month. We'll let you know what happens. For now, reporting live at City Hall tonight, Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News.